Just wanted to say big thanks to Scott for the uh, second donation he's made, which I bought some stuff from, and I'll show you in the next video what I got. So thank you very much, Scott. Much appreciated. Good day, folks. It is Thursday. The new beast is looking good. I just decided to get the blades on in the right places uh, because the holes are drilled randomly. You know what I'm like. I'm marked up. I've got A, B, and C marked on there. Uh, clearance there's not a lot of clearance there and i'm undecided whether to have the blades on the back of the hub that's what i'm talking about blades are on the rear of the hub or i can put the blades on the front of the hub now you'll see that's why that must have been why i cut this out remember this is a 10 mil thick plate welded onto a axle truck bearing in turn welded onto these two collars let's have, let's have a like Let's have some lights for how snug that is for some home chisel. So yeah, that's really good. With regards to sort of advantages and disadvantages, the closer we have the blade to the front of the turbine here, uh, the less wobble we'll have. But you could say if we put them on the front, then we might get more air because there's a bit more of a gap. The one problem going to have a hundred percent I know is with regards to the blade tips potentially touching the guide ropes and there's two things we can do about that I can either move the guide ropes down or I can build a new piece to go on top of the tower which is about three foot long uh, the only piece of 50 mil I think I have is here so I don't really want to use that one if I've got another one then what I'll probably do is use half of that which is 60 point, yeah, use half of that, which is 60.3 mil, about three feet long, and then have some of the 50 mil in the middle, and then we'll, I'll go show you at the top of the tower, so you know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I just need to show you this again to, uh, hang on a second. So we can see with this turbine, we, we actually had this much extra clearance because of this thing, which I nicked off the Chinese wind turbine. We don't have that, so effectively the front end and the blades will be a foot lower approximately. There's the 60.3 mil piece of steel that I've got, which is, I think it's a two and a half mil wall. It's really strong though. And by having the 50 mil inside, you just make it super strong. So that would be, if I'm gonna make a new bit from the tower, I'll be using some of this. So this is the clearance we have at the top of the tower. Uh, it's coming on for two feet. Uh, the bearings, uh, are going to come down to about there. The secondary bearing will be there. What I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let it all the way down so that hole I cut sits on top of the turbine and then I think it'll still move round but that way it won't just sway from left and right into the wind all the time. We'll have to see. But with regards to this, uh, there's a chance of the blades interfering, you know, here somewhere or, or sort of here somewhere. Uh, if I was to make a new bit to go on the top, then obviously this is what I'm talking about with, have got the 60 mil here and then the 50 mil here. Uh, so it would be put sort of, uh, put about two feet of the uh, 60 and then the other stuff would stick out about a foot more. And then because I don't really like this, I don't, uh, it seemed a good idea at the time and it's just a, too much of a kerfuffle and I had to use that to stop it coming down. So the idea would be to weld some more of on like that, eyes or whatever you call them, which I just made myself from six mil plate with the hole cut uh, in the middle. Some of the, uh, oh, we won't get onto that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it with regards to the blades. I'm hoping to get some help on Sunday. This is another thing that needs sorting. Uh, when my helpers come around, what I'm going to get them to do is clear all the uh, dirt away from here because there's loads of concrete down there. But this, uh, basically the height difference, exaggerates the problem when, uh, you know, I have to undo the wires to let it down uh, because that's supposed to be a lot lower to the ground. But anyway, that's one for another, uh, another time. This, I need to get some right size collars to go on the end of these because this must be at a slight angle so whenever the cable's coming through it's automatically pulled one way and sort of starts rim pulling the uh, 
shaft out, but it's not going to be a problem. What I've decided I need to do when my helpers come around to uh, sort everything out, uh, I think I'm going to drive my car in here, and then as a backup, I'm going to change. I'm going to uh, the tow bit of my car will be right here and then maybe get some chain around that and locked in properly just as a backup so if that does decide to start moving then the weight of the car will help stop it but all will be uh, revealed. The blades are going to get painted and then I'll, I'll wrap some paper around them so that I don't get them oily when they're going up. I think this is the one that had the a huge crack which basically I poured resin in it and then squeezed it together with a clamp and it seems to have fixed it but there's a few bits you know that need some they can have uh, filler in I've used filler on them before they're really old I'd actually bought them from China and I'd had them in my shed for a few years before I even had the bottle to use them uh, but that's what we need my friends that's what we need so I'll keep you posted on what I'm doing with the tower and stuff and I'll see you soon. Cheers.